I'm sorry, uh, which character were you playing in the film? So I played one of the mothers whose um, sons were murdered by Eric, and um, there's a meeting organized between uh, these mothers and um, Judy's character, whose son did the killing. What sort of attracted you to the material? Unfortunately, the material is just constantly timely in our current society. So, <laughs> yeah, so it felt like something that needed to be discussed. But even more than that, um, I think that Brett's treatment of the subject matter is really unusual in that he is examining a moment that I think we, we don't often think about, which is like not the immediate aftermath, but like, you know, many, many months down the line, you know, that this kind of trauma doesn't end. Yeah. And what's really unfortunate is a lot of the um, a lot of this trauma has been so aggressively politicized, Absolutely. especially how it talks on TV and the media and everything. Absolutely. How does the material get past those politics so that regardless of your position, they'll resonate with the film? Again, I, I give Brett and Mike a ton of credit for this. I think that one of the beautiful aspects of the film is that it manages to make you as an audience member or as a reader of the script, for example take many 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 different points of view like I, I really think it is a feat of empathy that Brett was able to help an audience or a reader empathize with Judy's character the mother of the killer or the killer you know like we want to distance ourselves but those people are people too was there a moment through the production that where it just it just hit you in that perfect way where you just felt like you were almost awestruck by the emotion and empathy in the scene. You know, what was crazy is that Alex Jones was doing all of those trials with the Sandy Hook parents, yeah. like, right as we were shooting. Really? And I was, I, I honestly, like, was very careful with myself about, like, how, how much of the political side of it I listened to. But I listened to a couple of those parents talk, and I just... Again, like you think that's 10 years later and they are still living in that all the time. And I, again, like it was just a moment where for me, I felt like, I mean, I'm so glad that Brett wrote this because considering the toll that we're taking on our society as a whole and for forever, it doesn't go away, you know, is important. Thank you so much for talking to me. I'm looking Absolutely. forward to seeing the film. Thank you. Thank Hi, nice to meet you both. So congratulations Thank on the film so the festival. Thank you so much, yeah. So the film obviously deals with very aggressive political subject matter involving gun violence and school Absolutely. shootings. Absolutely. Um, how, do you, how do you want the film How did you want the film to cut through a lot of the politics so that the audience can empathize with the characters in the film regardless of the audience's background? Thank you. You know what it is? It's a subject matter that's difficult to speak about, but it's something that's happening in the United States on almost a daily basis now. And this is really about a, a narrative about a, a, a mother dealing with the repercussions of something that her son did. Um, and it's she's caught between the you know, loving her son and trying to understand what he did versus what other people are telling her what is... Right. right for her to uh, believe. Yeah, I, I think, I think it might be uh, a school shooting in this instance, but it could be another tragedy, mm -hmm. and uh, it might hit somebody in a different way, and mm -hmm. uh, I think on many different levels. So, it, uh, this is just one representation of tragic things that happen in our lives. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, I think Mike said it best, where he said, "What you, what it is, it's about confusion. Right. Really, it is because you know you are there is confusion about when something like this happens, what you should feel, what is right, what is wrong. And I think there's such that fine balance of you don't know what's right or what are wrong. Right. It's it's in it's in your soul what you know, what you feel and, and your own narrative. Yeah, like the film, and I've also from where it's described, the film is also a lot about closure and kind of like America's right. obsession with closure. Absolutely. And the film also addresses like how religion can either plays a way of either providing or even exploiting it. How does the film kind of handle that aggressive subject matter, especially for a very Christian a Christian audience in a Christian America, Christian country? You know, I I think it's it's you know even though both sides play against religion in the sense that you know both uh, both characters both um, 
you know, Alex and, and Judy, their characters are each one is being told from a congregation what you should say, what right. you should feel, <laughs> right? But but at the end of the day, no one can really understand what you feel as a parent except what you're going sure. through. Right. And there can really be, again, there can be no, no one side or another. That's what's so poignant about this is it is, it's definitely... Um, uh, a, a topic and a subject matter that is complicated, but it definitely needs to be discussed and talked about. Thank you very much. I Thank really appreciate you. getting to talk Thank to you all. So Congratulations on the film. I'm absolutely looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. Um, I know that the being, playing the parent of a school shooter, I understand that the, that, you, that a big theme of the play is America's obsession with closure. How does your character reflect that obsession? Um. Ron is um, buoyant and, 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 and excited throughout most of the movie because he found, if not closure, um, a purpose and a, and a reason for why this happened. In the beginning, uh, after the incident, I think he, just like Janice, his wife, was just shell-shocked and had no couldn't understand how this could happen how his sweet little boy could do something so horrific it just did not make sense to him um and nothing made sense to him um but then through his pastor and his congregation he realized he got the guidance that he so desperately needed and the answers that he really wanted to hear which was were god had a plan or has a plan and this happened for a reason and through trial, you will achieve grace, and Eric will be fine because this is God's plan. And that is, uh, like he tells his wife in the movie, uh, Jesus will take your pain, all that suffering, all that um, that horrible darkness in your soul, Jesus will take it for you. So he's um, buoyant in, through, through most of the movie, and he's excited, and he's really trying to convey that and share that with his wife who's dealing with the pain in a very different way. Right. Yeah. So there, there, there's a disconnect between the two. I understand. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you.